Lima. Yeah. I'm blessed to have four sisters, and Otha is home from, actually I was in Los Angeles last Sunday. I made an announcement to the world that Otha is moving back to New York. Did you hear the announcement? What a beautiful, 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 beautiful. This is my only son, Chicolin. I just love it, I just love it. My daughter in love, his wife, Jasmine. Aunt Vivian, my mother's sister. I just want to appreciate all of our wonderful governmental officials for your great love and your great partnership that you extended to my father for his more than 46 years of pastoral ministry here in the village of Freeport. Zion Cathedral has been in the village of Freeport since 1929 and at right around 1972 uh, my father served as assistant pastor from 1970 to 1972 and was not officially declared pastor in 1972. And in 1996, uh, he established the Cedarmore Corporation uh, for social services, community outreach endeavor. I want to appreciate the board of directors of the Cedarmore for extending to me and given me the great honor to succeed and to carry out the vision and legacy of my father at Cedarmore and of course the family of Zion Cathedral for your great love shown to me as the pastor of Zion Cathedral to continue that legacy and that love. My father believed in preparation. He was a man of vision. He was a man that loved young people and he invested of his resources, creativity, time, energy, to make sure that the youth will always serve. Long before the Cedarmore Corporation was established, um, going back now to the 70s, I remember a particular program in Freeport called Operation Pride. Anybody from Freeport remember Operation Pride? And Operation Pride, we used to have summer basketball leagues right here in this park. We lived in Amityville, but the church was in Freeport, and so we had a our church league playing in Operation Pride. And at the time, I was a uh, I was I was a basketball star <laughs> at Amityville High School. Can I get a witness, Mom? Right, amen. <laughs> I mean, George, I hit a hoop, and they would say, Frank White, he's our man. If he can't do it, nobody can. <laughs> and uh, so I had some of my friends from Amityville High School, and Dad would load us up in that 1977 Chevrolet Impala and drive us to Freeport to participate in Operation Pride uh, Basketball League. And so he's always been a lover of young people, a lover of humanity. To my father, it made no difference. Color was not an issue. Daddy didn't see in color. All he saw was a human being. Black, white, it didn't matter the religious affiliation, if there was no religious affiliation, if it didn't matter, if you were strung out on drugs, my father went to the streets to make sure that he would help get your life straight. And there are scores of testimonies of individuals from all over this island and all over this state that he has uh, assisted to indeed uh, bring about a change and indeed to make a positive contribution to the community, to the kingdom, and to the culture. May I, at this moment now, I want you to help me show great love and great appreciation to our esteemed mayor of the incorporated village of Freeport who spearheaded this wonderful 
endeavor and actually and uh, let me parenthetically just give a big shout out I don't see him now Anthony Miller there he is Anthony Miller He's doing a great job in our community we appreciate you Bishop Elliot so many others Bishop Rothel Highsmith we see you and your lovely family from the second ecclesiastical jurisdiction I want you to help me appreciate uh, our wonderful mayor of this city for his support, for his assistance, for indeed his partnership. Not just in this endeavor, you see this today, but there have been many outstanding programs that our wonderful mayor has assisted and supported the Cedarmore Corporation. He shall lead us in this unveiling ceremony at this time. Help me give great applause to our wonderful mayor, Mr. Robert Kennedy, the Honorable Robert Kennedy. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. Uh, let's hear it for Zion and, and Cedarmore. Let's give a big hand. Those of you that admit that miss uh, Bishop Frank O. White and want to pray for him, I want to give a big round of applause for him and his family right now. I'm honored to be here today at this park, which will be named Bishop Frank O. White Memorial Park. What an appropriate name for renaming for an individual who has done so much for this community. Although the Board of Trustees and myself continue to offer our prayers and condolences to the White family and friends, we congratulate them and thank them for unselfishly sharing Bishop White with this community and Zion Cathedral Church for over 40 years. I know for a fact that Bishop, Bishop Franco White was a fair, reasonable, sincere, successful, dedicated man with great character. His accomplishments are too many to recite here today, but more importantly, I'd like to reflect on his smile and his personality. Think back to his smile and personality. He'll be sorely missed. However, by renaming this park, the memory reassures that our residents will forever remember a great bishop and a friend to the Freeport community. On behalf of Deputy Mayor Martinez, Trustee Pinheiro, Trustee Ellaby, Trustee Malay, our department heads, staff, and myself, I want to present to Dr. Juliet, his wife for over 52, 57 years, and family, a miniature plaque of this renamed park, Bishop Frank O. White Memorial Park. lost the bishop, we, we lost a very good friend. And I mean that from the heart. God bless America, God bless Freeport, and God bless this community. If I could ask Dr. Uh, to please come up here, Dr. Julie, come up so I can hand these, uh, this off to you, and I'm going to ask our trustee and deputy mayor. Bishop Frank O. White Memorial Park. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. 